Dexter's under the desk. If you move, there'll be hell to pay. I'm kidding. He never suffers any consequences for his actions. I don't want to. I don't like painting flowers. Hello, gang. Hello, friends. Gang friends, gang friends merch available at MissJoesNailCo.com. Welcome back. Have you come from the other video? Have you just watched the swatching one? Hi, thanks for still being here. If not, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nail stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I've just posted a swatching video of the new Madame Glam collection, which is released today. So if you want to get your hands on it, don't forget you can use code MISSJO30 for a whopping, whopping 30% off your order. I will put a link and details in the description of this video. Let's do some cute, I shouldn't call them cute until I've painted them really. They might not be cute at all, Joseph. We're going to try and do some cute Cinco de Mayo designs using as many of these colors as possible. So let's just begin. Let's not dilly dally. Here we go. So we're going to start with Cloudless from the Flavor Por Favor collection. And I'm going to do two coats on all four. We're only doing four today. <laughs> on this first one, I want to do some petty crime, some flowers, but because I suck at flowers, I'm going to get them done first. Don't fuck about under the table. I want to get them done first so that it's not niggling at the back of my mind. You've got to do flowers. I don't want to do flowers. I know you suck. Don't make me do it. I'm starting with Bluebell. And I'm going to do little dots. They're not very dot shaped because I'm doing them with a brush. I kind of had resigned myself to the fact that I'm not a fan of drawing flowers. I'm not good at drawing flowers, probably because I don't like doing them, so I don't practice them at all. So I kind of, if it's not looking fantastic, I'm not that fussed. <laughs> but I knew this nail was going to be quite busy, so it was going to sort of distract from the fact that it wasn't fantastic. Does that make sense? But I'm doing little petals here i'm putting the dots on and then doing like i did in with the daisies the other day going from the left of the dot up and round to the right to bring it down and then vice versa to try and get this shape and then i'm going to do so i full cured that and now i'm taking candy pop and i thought for some of them i'd try the pressure and then pull down and lift up to get that shape wasn't working for me um, but the middle bit we're going to cover up Anyway, I didn't get the initial circle shape with the dots right. They were too close together, but I explain more about doing that sort of thing in the daisy video. So if you want kind of a better one than this and a bit more uh, detail about it, I'll put a link to that video in the description. I have full cured this because if you're going to put something on top of, then you want to make sure whatever underneath, whatever is underneath is fully cured. So I'm taking spring fever, was that? Yes. And doing just some curved lines. And then I was looking at pictures of kind of Mexico, Mexican sort of aesthetics. And they had these sorts of vines or whatever you want to call them. And I should have left them like that because that's what they were like. They did have gaps in between. But it, it looked a bit, I don't know. I think that green line looked a bit harsh. So I do go in between each of them as well. And I'm only sticking to this kind of flower. There were lots of other Mexican types of flowers that were really nice, but I'm no good at flowers. So I thought, let's just do the same kind. These look relatively acceptable. So we'll stick to these. I, one day I will, well, maybe I won't, I don't know. I was going to say one day I will master doing flowers because I know lots of people like flowery nails. So I should kind of, teach myself how to do them, but oh, I just, I'm not that interested in them. Real flowers, lovely. 
So the same technique here, just the dots and then pulling them to the center. And then I will full cure because we're going to go on top of it. And this is the bit. So I'm, I'm doing the same thing, but just in between each one. And even though it kind of changes the vibe, like before they were, like I said, I was looking at Mexican type flowers and they were looking more like that without these bits, but I think it just looked a bit gappy, it looked like it was missing something. So we filled those in and then I'm going to use Lavender Springs to do the same on the side one, which is pu -pu 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 peach pie. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to use peach pie in between the yellow. Probably not the best combination to have uh, next to each other, like right on top of each other like this, because it's not, it doesn't look that defined, but it was done. We're not doing it again. And then yellow dots in the middle. What do we put over there? Candy pop. And then I'm going to add some dots because I just bloody love dots. It's going to make it look a bit festive and party like in my head that's what it's doing so we'll give everything a full cure and now we will top with the madame glam no wipe top coat the fabulous amazing no wipe top coat that i love and then i'm going to hold it upside down just to pull that top coat to the center a bit to even out the light line a little bit still a bit of a wiggle uh, but it's not as bad as if i hadn't held it upside down for a sec have I shot myself in the foot by doing flowers? Like, do I have to now put flowers, somehow tie it in across all the nails? Oh, that was silly. No, no, we're not painting more flowers. We've just demonstrated flowers are not our strong point. So we'll do, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna do any more flowers. I'm gonna tie everything in color wise, not design wise. So each of the designs could be kind of independent of the other one. So I'm thinking for the next one we'll do some bunting, some celebratory decorative bunting. I know on Dia de los Muertos rrr, they have the bunting that's all cut out and holy, but I don't know, holy? That's probably not what they call it. Should we get some of that holy bunting? But I'm not sure if they do that sort of thing for Cinco de Mayo. Plus I don't want to draw that this is the cut out this isn't how I draw <laughs> the pen would just constantly fall out my hand either way I'm just going to do regular triangle bunting and then we'll make it festive <gasps> with dots dots will make it look woo celebratory like like confetti confetti yes woo I'm going to use the lightest stroke ever, the lightest pressure, just to get some strings, some rope string for our bunting. And then I'm going to cure that and then we can start putting our little triangles on. And then I think I'll go over the black again once we've got everything on. So I'm just, this is super easy, just going to do little triangles and fill them in. I did at some point, well, once I'd got them all on, try and do little patterns on each one of them, but it looked a bit fussy. But I do end up adding a little sum and summon round the outside to trailer park girls. So this one is peach pie. Is that peach pie or is that candy pop? Hard to tell. I think it's candy pop. And then blue bluebell and then we'll just do some more triangles and then we will decide what to add because I in the video before this one the swatching video for this collection oh it's candy pop that first one um I used the Madame Glam gold gel paint and I had intended for those two striped nails that was the beginning of what this video was going to be but once I'd finished doing these I realized that it didn't really go with these so but that's why I was in the gold gel paint mindset these colors all look so nice together it's like rainbowy but not in your face rainbow it's not a hardcore rainbow <laughs> it's a gentle rainbow so this pink 
is called Tulips. I'm trying very hard to pay attention because I've just put on mute in the background. Um, I just put the telly on and there's a David Attenborough program on. And oh, holy shit balls. That's a massive snake. He just put a camera in this hole in the ground and there's a fudge off great big. Oh, look at the little mouse. Oh, this isn't going to end well. Oh, no. Um, but I just, don't you love a bit of Attenborough on a Sunday? <gasps> Nothing beats it. His voice is so calming. It's fascinating what he's talking about. You get to see some cute and not cute animals doing weird shit. It's so interesting. This is, uh, right, nails, nails. I'm adding some dots. Do you see how that just makes it a bit more like someone's just pulled a, a party popper? That's the vibe I was going for. And I'm adding some of the cotton tail as well. White always brightens everything up a bit. And then we will cure the dots or everything. While that's in the lap. Shall we have an episode of Lovers and Haters? Let's! Lovers and Haters, Lovers and Haters. Lovers and Haters. Oh, I forgot about this lover. We'll save that for another day. As this is the Mexico set and we're doing a Cinco de Mayo theme, I think it only right that today's lover be Frida Karlberg. <laughs> and she says, I watch your stuff all the time and this Lovers and Haters was the best. I actually feel sorry for a girl who writes something like that to another girl on the internet. As if life isn't already hard enough without us being mean to each other. Keep doing you. Right? I don't understand the mentality of these people. It takes days to film and edit a video to bring hopefully helpful content to people for free and some people think it's acceptable to leave shitty comments well it's not but thankfully there are more lovers than haters and we will get to our hater in a minute let's do some more nail stuff stuff with nails let's go over our black line i'm still doing it thin again um don't want it a big thick black line because i don't think there's black anywhere else in this set so still keeping it thin but just darkening it um, a little bit and then curing that and now I'm using the gold gel paint I think I could use this every day all day long and still would be amazed by how amazing <laughs> it is it's so good if you don't have the gold and silver gel paints from Madame Glam. You need them in your life. The consistency of them is perfect for detail and it's so jam-packed with glitter and it, they're so opaque. They're just perfect for outlining or doing a full nail, which I did on somebody the other day. So that is that one done. They've got a little bit of twinkle, just a little bit of zhuzh, just a bit of a zhuzh up. So I'm topping that with the no wipe and then that will have a full cure and that's that done this would be really cute for like a birthday nail design as a little accent or across all 10. what about some little tacos 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 just they'll be easy won't they we'll do a little bit like that and then some brrr. I'm going to leave that one till last, I think. We're going to do a little guitar now. And I've never drawn a guitar before. So this will be interesting. I think because I watched Coco again the other day that I want to do a little guitar. Oh, should I do the one, the white one that he has? No, should keep that if we do a Coco themed set. Let's just do, I don't want to try and make it look like something because... I've not drawn one before and I'll be lucky if it looks like a guitar in general, let alone a specific guitar. Let's just chew, let's just chew, let's chew on guitars. Let's start with the neck. I think that's the only part of a guitar I know the name of, which is weird because I was with a guitarist for five years, so I should really know more about guitars than I do and then so I've done a strip for the neck and cured that and I like to break things down into shapes whatever I'm drawing it's just much easier instead of trying to get the body shape of a guitar 
draw it down and uh, break it down into shapes. So I'm going to start with a kind of circle. It's not that it's it's a bit of an overly circle and then fill that in. I did think about doing the body first and then adding the neck on top, but I wanted to try and sort of avoid any you know as much raisedness um as much layering as possible so doing this and then putting it around the neck and then just painting up to the neck and then i haven't cured that bottom part i'm going to do another circle there and do the same again and then in between them oh and then my camera cut off and i didn't realize so i did that second pink circle and then just curved in between the two circles and then added a little um trapeze is that a trapeze shape yes I, I, it is but it's just upside down just added that on top at the top in yellow but i do end up changing the color of that and then i'm doing a half circle either side of the neck for the hole the hole does it have a fancier name than that probably and then outlining that with the with cotton tail. So any white that I wanted on this set, I used cotton tail. And then doing a little rectangle. So we've got circle, circle. You know, this we started with a straight with a line, or like a long rectangle. Two circles, a trapeze, two half circles, another little rectangle. And it's just easier to break it down that way. And then I'm going to outline everything in yellow. I did look at a picture of. A Mexican guitar. Did it look like this? No, um, <laughs> but you know, I was looking at it for more for like patterns on it and things as opposed to the shape because it was just guitar shaped. But my neck, not my neck, the guitar's neck is not long enough. I should have done the body smaller if I wanted it to be more kind of uh, more accurate to scale, but it's fine. We c it can have a short neck. I've added some dots in cotton tail around the body the body <laughs> i'm making up terms now for guitar the guitar anatomy um the dots weren't great i should have used a tiny dotting tool but brush was in hand and then adding some flowers onto it as well so i'm flash curing um these as i go that I think I just flash cured, maybe a half cure, so 10, 15 seconds, because this is the 30 second uh, gel polish. And then doing some little green leaves using apple bite, which don't show up very well, but they'll do. And I didn't put anything in between these ones like I did on the full flower nail. And then these are the little twisty knobs that you use to tune a guitar. Wait, I own a guitar. Where the devil is that? No idea. Somewhere. There was some room either side of the neck, so we just chucked a little dot in there. And now I'm going to do some kind of leaf shapes. They're more eye shapes, but let's call them leaves. And then when wherever there was a gap, I just kind of added more stuffs. So we're going to do some more little vines here with um, that spring fever and this is candy pop so i'll leave those without things in between them as well i'll do that on either side and then i think i add something at the bottom as well it was it was one of those where else can i put something sets you know when you you, you get on a bit of a roll and you just want to keep adding stuff this is i think i'm using purple the lavender springs on the leaves here just to give them some what do you call it what are they called i don't know veins that will do uh, yeah it was one of those sets where i just wanted i was sort of getting in the mood and i just wanted to keep adding more stuff so finding gaps wherever possible this was supposed to be some kind of lotusy looking not lotus there was a flower that showed up in a lot of my searches when i'm doing a themed set I'll Google Cinco de Mayo and just scroll through images, not necessarily looking at a particular one, just kind of flooding my brain with images of it to hopefully evoke some kind of inspiration or idea. So those, yeah, those things at the bottom was supposed to be a kind of flower that I kept seeing, but it wasn't happening. And they just look like, they kind of look like those beauty makeup egg sponges 
things beauty sponge there you go i added some strings down the neck using cotton tail and now we're adding some of the gold gel paint again i feel like it needed a bit of a boost so we're going to do just that bit at the bottom of the neck and the top of the neck i think maybe i should have just left it as the bottom of the neck but can you ever have too much sparkles on anything i mean it's not a lot but is it too much no no it's not if anything i could have added more glitter so we're going to top that again with a sort of thickish coat there's not too much layering it's just the dots and the stuff on the leaves and then the gold on top of the yellow so it didn't need to be too thick it's quite thick top coat anyway and that is our little guitar it's cute isn't it <laughs> this would be a really difficult guitar to play you okay my sweet not just because the neck is incredibly short but it only has two strings so you could play it you just wouldn't get much of a tune maybe the jaws theme tune <laughs> on this last one which i know only makes four i think but i my best friend has messaged and she needs me to run some lines with her so BFF duty calls but I think if I was doing a fifth I'd probably do another one with flowers or maybe a little cactus that would be quite cute a cactus wearing a sombrero <gasps> dead leg but we're going to end on this one we're going to do little tacos and we're just going to scatter some across and there may be some dots probably some dots but they're going to be really easy we're going to do a D fill it in and then just squiggle some shit on the outside this is my favorite nail of all of them again i'm going to break it down into a shape so we're doing a d or a what a half circle there we go <laughs> d isn't a shape joseph it's a letter we're going to do a half circle a semicircle, and then just scatter a few of those around my placement of them isn't fantastic i should probably when doing a, a scattering of something like this all over the nail it's always good to start maybe with one in the middle so that you get a full one in the middle but I didn't do that I went over the tacos the the yellow with a second coat just the very really quick wasn't worrying about getting close to the edges just a really quick second coat just because the yellow did darken a bit going on the blue the greeny whatever color that is cloudless and then i've got some c -c 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 candy pop tiny tiny bit on my brush and just squiggling just poking at it poke and wiggle that's the action you want just very short stabs and very small wiggles and then cure it full cure it and then do exactly the same with this is spring fever so that's our kind of what is it tomatoes or is it tomatoes and lettuce i don't know tacos aren't really a, a big thing over here i mean we have them but i i can't say for sure what the green stuff is while that's in the lamp shall we have our hater let's have our hater our hater is pamela kitchens and she says you are very entertaining to watch and listen to but could you refrain from using the f word it's very offensive the short answer is no <laughs> i don't understand why it's offensive the context of the f words is normally if i've messed up or something's gone wrong oh fuck i messed up another flower it's not like i'm saying oh fuck you pamela kitchens i've messed up a flower it's not intended for offense i don't walk around just dropping the f-bomb willy-nilly in my day-to-day -day life i don't walk into the post office and go fucking stamp that would be understandably quite offensive and i think unless you have never watched telly after 9 p.m or ever seen a film rated above a PG, I'm pretty sure, making enough noise, Dex? I'm pretty sure that my videos aren't the only thing preventing you from living a fuck-free life.
get over it, it's just a word. I wonder what Pamela says when she stubs her toe, which is an underrated injury. Hurts like a motherfucker. Next time I stub my toe or similar, I'm going to try saying fiddlesticks and see if that helps because I think screaming the F-bomb when something like that happens does relieve some of the pain. It helps, but hey ho. As per my reply, could you refrain from using the incorrect your in sentences? It's very offensive. Shall we uh, get back to some more nail stuff, stuff with nails? Continuing with my what more can I add mood, I'm mixing a bit of lemon drop with some peach pie. That doesn't sound like it would taste nice at all. And then I'm, I'm just, I don't know, adding some, is it shading? Not really. It's just adding another colour. So I'm going to do a line at the bottom of the taco and then just blend it up a bit. Not a great blend because what we're blending onto is is cured. So it's, the brush doesn't blend, you know, it doesn't, it kind of, because you're going onto, you're going onto sticky, but I'm just brushing it up a little bit. And because the colours aren't too dissimilar, it's not, showing as massive kind of there's no definition to these new color that we've put on it is kind of just fading into the yellow i don't really know why there's too much on that one take some off take some off um i don't really know why i did this i just wanted to kind of give it a bit more of something <laughs> i make it look a bit more cooked and then more dots because why not just these two colors i think on this one and i love these colors together i would never normally think to put that kind of aqua color with these colors but i think it works so that has all been fully cured and we are topping you can see here if you top normally look how wiggly the light line is from all the different heights there are only tiny different tiny height differences but they're there so that's why i'm doing a thicker coat and that will smooth smooth everything out i mean it's not smoothing it out but it's covering it with a thick layer so that it's it's uh, smooth on top there's still a bit of a wiggle but that's okay and that is our little tacos and just like that we are done would you like to see the final set okay here they be this these color this looks like a party i would like to be invited to. I want to be at that party. A bit of Gypsy Kings in the background, some good food. Perfect. Practicing my Spanish. Anyway, this is the Flavor Por Favor collection from Madame Glam. I hope you like this set. I love all of the colors in this collection. So don't forget you can use code MISCHO30 for 30% off your orders at Madame Glam. I'll put a link to that in the description and I'll also put a link to the swatching video if you want a closer look at them. It is being released today so head over there and order yours. If you do like this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm back to it, we're just saying it like that from now on. I don't like it but it's just how it evicts itself from my face whole. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Let me know what you think in the comments, which one is your favorite. I would love to know. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye. Oh, Dex, please stay still. Ow. Stay still, Dexter, please don't move. I want to do some, keep still. Don't go bananas. It's fine. <laughs> Please don't be the fucking doorbell. <sighs> what are you? This is my double crown thing. I just have this bit of hair that, that likes to come out of the head at no angle, just directly up, which is being released on May the 1st. That's today. Dots. Did I show it properly? There's my breast. Party time nails. Having a static day. Don't eat the nails.